Well, if you the big whips and you never get sick of nose really clips, then I have got a present for you. It's a video blog from Mr. BQ. Do yourself a favor and tune in to his YouTube. Well, I should be inside doing my taxes, but it was so nice outside that I had to come clean the garage out a little bit, clean the gear bags out a little bit, organize the tools, play with my dog. Showy, come here. Come here, you want to play ball? Give me the ball. Let go. She's a playing fool. She'd play all day if I'd let her. I'm just headed out. We're going to check out the ramp. See the whole situation over here, see how bad it is. This is what happens whenever you don't ride a ramp for, let's see, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Yeah, it's been a while. She's been, uh, she's got a little rain rutted, but landing still looks quite nice. Just a little rain rutted. Let's see how the whole, really not too many weeds around here, surprisingly, but. Other than that, it's not looking too bad. I had a little step up here. At one point, my rut got a little bit bigger. But the debris around the ramp. She's looking pretty good. You can't really see it. You want to get under it. Did I get it? I don't know. Yeah. This is like riding your neck. Oh, that's great. Break off? Broke it. Leave it? Just itches. I don't like that. Um, well, we can figure something else out for that one. We have to get some like, <laughs> we have to cut it and get some needle nose or something. Now that that broke off, I got some digging to do. There's a different kind of stitch that I've never had before. Ow. I have to, he had to pull so hard to get that thing out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ouch. It's coming. I'm going to have to get a pair of needle, needle nose pliers out for long. Yeah. Woo, got it. <laughs> as soon as I start riding again, I'm going to be feeling like Nate Adams. Got some GoPros thanks to Heather. GoPro Hero 5. GoPro Hero 5, the session and the real deal. I'm stoked. Gonna be hashtagging GoPro. Thanks, Heather. I'm headed down to Merge Racing to go get a set of suspension. And I probably could have had him ship it, but there is a Ted's Cafe Escondido, which is the best Mexican food probably on the planet. And it's in Oklahoma City, and it's on the way. So I was like, you know what? I could have him ship it, but if I go through Oklahoma City, I can go get Ted's. So that's where I'm at. This is Ted's. If you're ever in the area, I recommend it highly. So we're here at Compound 77 at this motocross dirt bike track and there's a quad. What the heck are you doing here on this quad, Thomas Brown? Destroying ruts. What do you think about people that just give people that ride quads trouble? What do you think about that? What do you have to say to them? Oh man, it's uh... I tell them they suck. You know, <laughs> legitimately I like to see them try it. You know, it's, I can ride a bike too, but man it's cool to... We can share a track, but I know I destroy their ruts and they destroy my ruts and destroy my destroy my hard pack. So it's uh, it's good, man. But I hate the the people that talk crap and they don't know. Yeah, you know? they don't know. I I honestly can't say that I was one of those guys, but I was like, man, there's quads here today, and then I started riding with this guy. It doesn't suck as bad as I thought. Like he's a pretty bad dude. So I think uh, we can all get along, can't we? Oh, dude, for sure. You know, and like that's one thing I do is when I come to tracks. Like, if there's a nasty rut that everybody's killing on a bike, I will try my best to go around it. Like, I'm not gonna destroy your ruts just to destroy it for no reason. So, you know, it's good. I mean, a soft track. It's hard for us both to ride on the same days. But man, I got mad respect for all the bike riders, and I like to see if uh, maybe I can get some respect back if I earn it. So I gotta do that shit to do it. But man, it's uh, 
I, like, I hate the shit talkers. So. so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this big metal arrow in our ruts so you don't hit them. I'm cool? down for that. All right, sounds good. So I just showed up at Merge Racing. Came came to get my suspension. I'm gonna go see if I can get Jim to say a few words. See how he's doing in here. Jim, what'd you do to my suspension? Did you make it good? Done, we ain't done shit for your suspension. <laughs> Did you make it good? You put we're, the we're making it for cripples. So you put the you're, 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 you're out of action. <laughs> Super so. go go juice, big air boost. You're, you're out of action. Right. Stock so, is good enough. Sounds good. Stock is a rock. Merge Stock racing, baby. Mer merge racing. What do you think? I think you got the, the triple air go go juice springs <laughs> in there. Did you do it or did Jim? No, I didn't do it. Oh, so the man yeah, with the plan. Man. Man. Yeah, oh exactly. man. All right. Well, I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks, Jim. All right. So we made it out here. Hopefully there's no snakes. There's some like six, seven foot rattlesnakes out here. We made it to the infamous compound 77 stop sign. But you can't really, <laughs> that branch reached out and grabbed me. I thought it was a snake. I thought he was coming after me. But you, uh, you can't leave this place without putting your number plate on. We got Cowboy Kenny. Who else we got up here? We got Nick Peterson. Man, we got, we got a lot of people up here. But I don't have a number plate sticker. So you can bet I got some Ride365.com stickers. And they are going right there. I stopped by this beautiful dirt bike track that you probably see whenever you cross um, through Oklahoma City and Norman, right off I-35. Give my good friend Greg. He happens to have a dirt bike shop here where he fixes stuff. So we're gonna go see what he's doing. Obviously not washing his bike because I think still dirty oh. from Ponca City and I don't know why he hasn't washed his bike. I thought he was more on top of things than that. You guys don't be don't be jumping on me, you crazy dogs. Look now I got scratches all over the arm. What are we gonna do? What's up? Greg, what's happening? Kyle Cunningham going racing this weekend? Yeah. Listen to the Puppet MX show and uh, building an engine for Bobby Flash tech. Who is Bobby Flash? We need to check him out. We need to flash him up on the screen. Yeah, you can you do that? Bobby Flash. You missed this though. Dude, dun dun dun. Only because of you, buddy. Greg is the winner. How is that only because of me? Because you're my mechanic. That's the second place trophy? No, no. You see what they give me for a second? I don't have it. It's a, they gave it a lump of coal. You got a lump of coal that's, for a second. That's what you deserve for not winning. That's what I, it's America. You win, <laughs> you, and you get rewarded. You, and if you get second, you can suck. <laughs> And if you get first, you get big trophies like that one. But I think that might have been one that that old number 41 got, but I'm not really positive. It looks like a too fancy of a trophy for Ponca City. I don't know. This one's bigger. This one's bigger. That's what I'm saying. It must mean you're, you're faster. Greg? Are you Did you gonna, get a good shot are, on my, my motor? Are you going to really wear a chest protector you get, over your jersey? Yeah, of course I am. Yeah, Safety. You know, I, let's get real here for a second. I know that your vlogs are. Oh wait, no. I'm gonna show you this too. Plus 30 class, you have to wear a chest protector. Is that like a? Is that like a requirement? You see all the hot rod stuff I ordered off Ride365.com. Heck yeah, dude. Ride365.com got all the hot rods parts. It was next for day, that. man. Next day got me hooked up for Bobby Flash's engine. Next but day no. shipping. You got a next day, and it did not cost you things. So it was over 49 bucks, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's cheap. I yeah. Just... It's cheap. It's you know when it's cheap you don't even look at how much it costs exactly. so many Free broken going. ribs and this and that and nobody you know people talking about neck breaks it's a chest protector everything vital is right here and you know what all these guys well believe me i work for the pros i don't wear a chest protector. roost doesn't bother me roost doesn't bother me then how come every guy in an outdoor national i'm standing there every guy that ain't in first in that first couple laps they're riding like this i'm like <laughs> The roost hurts, dudes. Don't try to act hard because I see y'all being a bunch of pussies and ducking your head and trying to make your stomach as small as possible and getting back. Just wear a <laughs> chest protector, for God's sakes. It's going to keep you safe. And you're not going to go, oh, I got I got eighth this weekend because I had to crack my rib. You wouldn't even crack your rib, you know. And, and the one I got from Alpine Star, it's got a built-in kidney belt, you know, so oh, I can sit yeah. down like, don't just... <laughs> Do that again. I'm just gonna take it. And this thing's for sale too. Yeah, this number 45 machine. This thing's it's brand fresh new. As can be. It's never been it. ridden. I got an FMF pipe for it. Hit me up. I'll sell it uh, cheap, cheap, cheap. How much you want for it? Um, Tell as the it, with stock, with the graphics like this, 5200, and Woo! with with an FMF pipe, I'll do it for 5600. And this is a 16, yeah. 16, never been ridden, brand new. Dude, freshy. That is a steal right there. I put gas Everyone. in it the other day just to make sure it started. Look, it's even still got the the wrap over the. 
the stalker pipe. Got a fresh EFMF over there. It's the only way to go. That plus that will bring home one of those. A big trophy. Bam. Big trophy. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You guys have tacos here? No? How many tacos do you want? Oh, I want all the tacos. I want the taco Oklahoma. I want 100% guacamole because I'm trying to eat healthy here. I got a training program going on. And yeah, I want six of those, please. And a large Coke. Perfect. Is that free tonight? Yep. Oh. Totally. oh, thank you. You guys are awesome. Have a nice day. You too. Thanks for taking So I just stopped to get some Taco Bell and look who I ran into. Mr. MX for Jesus. What's up, Kevin? How you doing? What are you doing, man? Traveling the world? Hey, or I'm what? running into Brett Q. I mean, how cool is that? I'm just driving through Oklahoma. I pull over. There's Brett Q. I mean, Really, what I was thinking, I saw this uh, big motorhome going down the road, and I just wanted to get a selfie and, a, and an autograph. That's all I did. That's <laughs> well, why. Let's I, do it. Let's that's do why it. I stopped for Taco Bell or Taco <laughs> Mile for, because I was like, "Oh, Kevin's here. Sweet, Austin. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. You raced this weekend? Yeah. Did you win? No, I didn't. Are you gonna win Loretta's? I'll try. You do need to try. Yes. I'll try for sure. You gotta keep that positive attitude, yeah. buddy. Awesome. See you guys there. See you soon. See you, buddy. Thanks for coming out.